Hello everyone, and welcome to another Classical Glance video. Today, we are in 2020. Can you believe it? It's already 2020. This is going to be a great year for Clash, I can already see it. 2019 was an amazing year. We had the World Championship, we had the World Cup, the, uh, Cla the Town Hall Cup tournaments, and we had three seasons of the Mobile Open. So, we have the Mobile Open coming back for next year. And we have the World Championship coming back next year. And we have the Town Hall 13 Cup in January. Just three weeks from now. It remains to be seen if they have the Town Hall 5 through 13 Cups planned. But if they do, that would be fantastic again. But anyway, let's get right into the video. So One Hive matched Ophelian Esports Hail in a random spin today. So I'm thinking we could do some attacks there. So I chose base 18. And the strategy that I'm going to use right here is hog and minor. Queen charge. And I'm going to gem the royal champion. Don't worry about that. So what we're going to do here is you're going to funnel at 4 o'clock by the cannon. Queen somewhere by the spell factory and the e storage. The e drill. And then she's going to walk down, take out all these structures without needing a rage spell, obviously. Because there's basically no damage there. We're going to jump on the wizard tower and archer tower here. We'll get the queen, eagle, and inferno tower. And then I think the best way to approach the hog area is to go from this side. We'll go straight at the Inferno Tower. Hogs and miners will go through here. We'll have the king for funnel on this side. On this side I think we'll just use a baby dragon to funnel the queen in. Maybe a couple of loons to take out the cannon. But I don't think that's necessary, actually. As long as we drop the jump spell on the wizard tower. And not, like, on the archer tower directly. So then queen can jump over if she reaches over for the cannon. She can jump over and get the inferno tower. So we'll see about that later. But I think we can drop the king on this side. And the... Siege barracks like up here in the middle at 12 o'clock because the siege barracks activates the CC and we'd like the CC to be really close to wherever the army is. So we have to predict where the army is going to be when the CC comes out. So that's a little bit complicated, but generally it's in the middle of the L shape that you're creating with the kill squad or the queen charge. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And hopefully, that's going to be successful. So, let's get the army ready. And let's go. Maybe I'll bring... I'll bring some balloons for that cannon. Just to make sure that the queen goes in as smoothly as possible. We don't need much cleanup because we have the king and we have the siege barracks. So it's fine if we get rid of a couple of wizards. Okay, let's replace them with hogs again for the next army. So I think we're ready to go in. Okay. Let's go in in 3, 2, 1. So, Loon and Baby Dragon for Funnel. Queen there. And a Baby Dragon out there. Queen should swing down. Hopefully the Baby Dragon will stay alive. Baby Dragon tanking for the Archer Tower. That's really cool. 
wizard to keep the queen a little bit closer to the walls. Okay, that looks really good. So let's drop the king. A little bit late on that jump spell, but it's fine. Queen didn't wrap around. Freeze on the enemy queen because that's a lot of damage. And let's start dropping our troops. And siege barrack. Okay. So hopefully the CC is something good. Okay. I'll take that CC. Rage on the Queen. Hopefully the slingshot doesn't take him out, or the scatter shot. Okay, it's looking good so far. We have the Warden ability for the Town Hall. And a heal spell. Not sure how many troops got that heal spell. Yeah, probably not a very good heal spell. But it's an overkill anyway. Let's look at that. We have the Royal Champion. We have maybe like 10 Miners, 10 Hogs, something like that. All the Hogs are dead now due to the splash damage. But that is all the defense is covered. And we have plenty of cleanup. And two loons. We are done. That is a really powerful strategy. Basically the fault of that base was that there's not enough damage where there should be damage here. There should be like a ground bow or two like right here. So then it damages the queen enough that that queen charge from here to 6 o'clock isn't that valuable. Because you'll need a rage spell or two or a lot of free spells or something. But in that base, it didn't have the damage it needed to protect that area. So it got crushed. Let's move on to the next base. Now I'm back, and I've selected our second base. So this is going to be a cleanup attack of Chubbs on number 8. So we're going to take a look at this attack and see what we can do to improve it. So he drops his queen on the enemy king. He uses a rage spell. King for funnel at 3 o'clock. Queen's going into the town hall channel. Where she's going to trigger the CC. It's a damage CC. Very strange at Town Hall 13, to be clear. At least in the high level scene. So, Queen then locks onto the wall. So, that's very interesting AI there. So, from there. We don't even need to see the back end troops to know that, or to have an idea of where to put our back end troops instead. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let the queen take out these two buildings here. And with the funnel we have created with the king, we can have the siege barracks at 6 o'clock take out this area and have miners and hogs going from this side. So it's going to be a little bit dangerous with the eagle so far away. But maybe if I let the queen spend more time, or if I bring wall breakers, perhaps, to break open, I think they would break open this wall to get at the royal champion statue, but that would still give that queen access to the eagle. So I think I'll do that. So I think the queen will break herself into this wall right here. And then after that, we'll bring wall breakers to take out 
the second layer instead of the first. So that'll be a little bit interesting to see. So let's see if my heroes have regenerated and if we're ready to go. Still a minute left on the queen. So we'll train some wall breakers. Okay, our army's ready. Let's give this a shot. Let's make sure we know exactly what tile to place the queen on. Okay, right by the barracks. It's very important that you place the queen exactly where you want her. Because sometimes that really tiny difference is all the difference. Let's do it. Queen on the exact right tile. Probably should have checked for seeking mines. I think I caught all the healers. Okay, good. Queen, don't go to the D storage barracks. Okay, uh, D drill. <laughs> keep messing up that name unfortunately uh that builder hut is that going to be a problem okay good okay i need to use a rage spell unfortunately I was hoping to save that. So then the queen could save some time in the core. But hopefully the wall breakers are enough. Getting a little bit close on time now. Okay, that's not a good place for the wall breakers to go. That is definitely not my plan, unfortunately. Okay. Early warden ability so we catch everything. Heal down. Freeze the Inferno Tower. Time is going to be the issue. We have a lot of wizards, which is not really normal on a hog wizard raid. Okay, cannon is tanked for. Okay, I think we're good. Queen can hopefully help out a little bit. And we won't need this last heal spell. Just need these troops to go faster. Okay. That wasn't quite what I was planning for. But we were able to make it work. Yep. And that is a six pack against a Felian Esports. Uh, relatively new org. So. That was the Hog Miner attack strategy. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Raze Gaming. And I'm out.